the Canada Division of Health. Um, that's my current role. For the last 20 years, I've also been an entomologist, and I've dealt with all sorts of insects and bugs as we know them. And today I'm here to give you a little uh, information on this new tick we have in Hunterdon, uh, known as the longhorn tick. You'll see this referred uh, synonymously as the East Asian bush tick as well. Those are one and the same. Uh, this tick has come to Hunterdon, and we don't really know how. Uh, more than likely, uh, just uh, transferred between a large animal and as it's been traveling overseas. And uh, we're curious now as to what role it's going to play in our environment. So far, we've found that this tick is not a threat to people. So just I wanted you to let know up front that our concern at the moment, based on all the data we have, is that this tick, uh, if anything, would become a problem to livestock and wildlife. So particularly out here in Hunterdon, where we've got uh, wildlife and they've got quite a few farms, uh, we're very interested in seeing uh, if it's in areas of Hunterdon, and if so, uh, what kind of habitat is it uh, causing a pest to these animals, or does this exist like a lot of other little critters, uh, like we have other ticks in the county that uh, may or may not cause a problem at all. Uh, we're working currently with our partners at the United States Department of Agriculture, as well as the Centers for Disease Control, just to evaluate uh, exactly uh, how this tick is playing out in our environment. So routinely throughout uh, you know, the course of a week, we'll trap in areas, we'll take samples uh, that residents have brought in and see if we can find this tick. And so far, uh, we've seen this tick in the general area where we originally found it. I should say the tick has now been found in Union County, and so you might ask yourself, oh, did the tick spread from here to Union? Uh, really, what we probably think has happened, and obviously we don't have all this information just yet, it will come in due time, but what we think has happened so far is that this tick has probably been in the country for some time, at least a few years, if not longer, and it's worked its way around either through animals traveling, traveling intentionally, such as, say, a, a horse or something moving from one farm to another, or more likely uh, with wildlife moving it around. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is just give you a general outline of what the tick looks like and then compare it to some more significant uh, ticks we have in terms of medical importance, at least, right here in Hunterdon. So um, I've got a bottle here, and these are engorged females of the East Asian longhorn tick. I'm going to contrast that with ticks uh, that we commonly see here. If I can get these over. And these are adult deer ticks. Um, so just to give you a sense that there's a big size difference um, between these species. Um, as you may or may not be aware, we have several native species of ticks. Our most important one here in Huntington County is what we call the deer tick, otherwise known as the black-legged tick. And that's because it transmits Lyme disease as well as some other uh, 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 vector-borne diseases, but Lyme is the most significant of those. It's a very important uh, time to talk about that tick because uh, we're just starting to see the nymphs of deer ticks, and those are our primary transmitters of Lyme disease and other related diseases. So uh, one of our messages, uh, which continues uh, despite the presence of this, this new invasive tick, is that right now the, the important tick from a, a health standpoint is the deer tick. We will see those nymphs between now and let's say about the 4th of July, so now's the time to take preventative action uh, for that tick. Moving back to the uh, longhorn tick, um, what we know is that it doesn't uh, seem to uh, be in the same habitat as deer ticks. The longhorn tick is typically found in, let's call them unkept uh, fields, pastures, that sort of thing. Not really in the woods and certainly not on your lawn. So if your children are out playing in the yard, if you're out gardening, there's uh, a very remote chance you're going to ever see a longhorn tick. If you're on the wood's edge, what you might find is the deer tick, and you're certainly going to find that this time of year. So be vigilant uh, with your tick checks like you should always should. Be particularly vigilant, vigilant this time of year because that's when we see uh, our nymphal deer ticks. And in terms of personal prevention, the same holds true for all ticks, and that is uh, if you can keep your uh, lawns kept uh, uh, with a low grass height, Ticks cannot survive, including this longhorn tick. Uh, they simply can't survive that heat and dryness. Um, if you're out and about, if your children are out and about, if you can wear long clothing, that certainly uh, creates a barrier so the ticks can't, on you, can't get on you. And if you use repellents, namely DEET-based repellents or permethrin clothing repellents, that will repel and kill, kill ticks. And I can tell you, uh, with my employees, when we go out either looking for this longhorn tick or deer ticks, that's one of the first things we do is we put repellents on our clothing they bind to your clothing, and that will either kill ticks that come in contact with you, or uh, they'll simply be repelled and drop off. 
Uh, so that's, in a nutshell, what we're seeing with ticks. But just to, uh, to close, I'd um, like, first of all, to thank you for your attention. Uh, it means a lot to us when residents come in and ask us questions. It helps us learn as well. So we're soliciting ticks, as always. If you find them on your pets, on yourself, on your livestock, please bring them to me. My name is Todd Graney. I can be found right at the County Health Department on Route 12. You're welcome to come visit us as well. My phone number is 908-788-1351. Uh, we have a service where you can drop your tick off, or any insect for that matter. I'll ID it for you. I'll give you a sense of what role it's playing on your property, and then we'll determine if there's a need to do anything about it. Uh, should you find longhorn ticks, it's not a huge concern. All we want to make sure is that they just don't become a problem for uh, things like livestock and, and, and wildlife in the area. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we're uh, in the preliminary stages of evaluating. But thus far, what we know is that it's not a problem for humans, for their health, and that it appears to pop up in some high numbers, but we've yet to see it really cause any damage even to livestock. But that's certainly something that we want to, want to monitor because there is that potential at least. Uh, thanks again for your attention, and I look forward to hearing from you.